Are you serious? Are you serious? This is incredible information today. I'm, I really haven't seen a day like this of significant biblical signs and Bible prophecies happening simultaneously. I don't know. In the last 18 months, we've seen a lot of things. But I don't know about this. You might want to mark this one down on your calendar. Let me just say quickly, last night's show on God Discussions was powerful. I believe it was one of the best 71 minutes that I've ever been involved in. The, the, inter the interview was tremendous. Dakota and, um, and Deborah, and the, uh, look, all the ladies were just powerful. They had great questions, and we, we answered them, and I think it was a wonderful uh, program. And there was some audio problems. They had so many people trying to get into the server. Um, but uh, the recording, the archive recording is perfect. I listened to it last night. Uh, I recommend you go there. So the link's right here below. Click it, go there, listen to the first hour. You, it's a three-hour show if you want to just listen. But I come in about 15 minutes into the first hour, and I'm on for another hour. And the questions are great. There is some news coming out of the interview. They're going to be writing in articles. There's going to be some news coming out of that. They're even going to do a press release to Google. So we'll see what that means. And I don't want to steal their thunder on that, so let them do that. But it was a powerful show. Uh, but let me just tell you some more things going on. And I may just play part of that uh, archive today on my show. Uh, actually, and I will be on blog TV Livestream.com and PaulBegleyProphecy.com. We've got it all working now, so that's great. And I think I might play part of that interview last night on my show, but I'm not going to reveal what the, some of the breaking news uh, that was revealed to me, and they re and they're going to report on. Uh, I'm just going to let that one. I'm going to let them go ahead and come forward with it. Okay, I think that's fair, guys. We got earthquakes everywhere. Let's get into this. Are you serious? I'm still drinking coffee out of a styrofoam Denny's cup. What? The only good thing I can say about that is it matches the shirt. That's all I can say. And I'm not endorsing Denny's, but what are you going to do? Here's what's going on, folks. Earthquakes, unbelievable earthquakes. 4.7. Where? Christ. Church, New Zealand. It was shallow, so it really rattled and shook some stuff up. The people are very upset there. You know, they had that huge earthquake that killed 146 people uh, uh, about a year ago or so. And, you know, the people are unsettled. They've had tons of aftershocks. Christ Church, New Zealand is almost like a microcosm of the birthing pains of the earth. It just keeps rattling, keeps shaking. Bricks keep falling. People were running into the streets as this hit again. Because it was only 4.7, but folks, you can't go by that. It's how shallow a quake is. It's where it's located. A lot of times can really shake some stuff up. We're still waiting on whether there was injuries uh, or damage, but we know they felt a mighty shake. Matter of fact, let me report to you, not far from where I'm at, there was a 4.1 earthquake in Vancouver Island, Canada. And I'm up here in... Uh, suburbs of Seattle, Washington right now, and so I didn't feel it. Of course, I was probably sleeping like a log when it hit, but it did happen. 4.1 Vancouver Island, Canada. 4.8 Kermatic Islands. 4.6 Turkey today. 3.9 Italy today. 3.8 the Dominican Republic. 4.1, as I reported earlier, Vancouver Island, Canada. 4.6 Alaska. 4.6 the Tonga, 5.1 the Norwegian Sea, following yesterday's quake that hit there at 6.2 just off the coast, and 4.8 in Japan, with more information coming out now of two and a half times more radiation is coming out of those nuclear, those melting down six nuclear reactors there in Japan, Ever since they were hit with the fifth largest earthquake in the history of the world. Are, are you serious? That 9.0 earthquake that hit Japan on 3-11-11 that literally rattled Tokyo for six minutes 
brought a tsunami inland six miles, leaving 28,000 people dead in the mud and the water and the destruction, and left six nuclear reactors melting down. Now they're reporting it's 2.5 times higher radiation there than the government originally reported to the people. This is why there's been reports a month ago that maybe 40 million people from the population of Japan may need to be transferred off the island of Japan onto the, um, the, Cur the Kuril Islands, which is that 56 islands between Japan and Russia. There has been a dispute with Russia anyway. They may have to move 40 million people to those islands to escape the massive amounts of radiation that is seeping and is filling the ground, the sea, the water, and the air, and polluting the food chain. It's just not good. And speaking of Japan, a volcano erupted yesterday, and it's still doing it today. It's the uh, Sakajima, the Sakajima, spelled S-A-K-U-R-A-G-I-M-A. -A -A. I think it's called Saka Sakajima. Well, the volcano has erupted, and the eruptions continue. Matter of fact, that big earthquake of 3-11-11 made 20 volcanoes that were on the islands of Japan that were dormant. It woke them up. It woke up 20 dormant volcanoes. People aren't talking about that, but we have reported that. And by the way, Chesapeake Bay is reporting 60 to 100,000 dead fish have washed up in the eastern shores of the United States near Chesapeake Bay. Again? Two million fish died on January 1st, washed up on the banks there on uh, January 3rd, January 4th, somewhere in there of 2011. During that, 5,000 blackbirds fall out of the sky in B.B. Arkansas, 100,000 dead fish in the banks of the Arkansas River, and two or three days later, two million fish washed up on the banks of Chesapeake Bay back in 2011. That's what prompted us to write the Hosea prophecy. Because it was in the, and we explain it, we break it down for you. Because it's in the Bible, folks. This is a 3,000-year-old ancient prophecy by Hosea. Dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. Why? Because there's no truth. There's no mercy. There's no knowledge of God in the land. And because of the swearing, the lying, the killing, the stealing, and committing adultery, God said and that blood touches blood. He said they're going to break out. Blood's going to touch blood. And the beast of the field and the fowls from heaven, yea, and the fish of the sea are going to be taken away. And it's happening. It says that God has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The land's going to languish. The people are going to mourn. So if you want to find out more about our book, you can at our website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. But wait a minute, let me just tell you some more. Because it's going to relate to the biblical signs, including the Middle East. And I'm not even talking about that this morning. Folks, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a big time Bible prophecy day. I don't want you to go nowhere, but stay right here. Stay with us here at YouTube. And my show this afternoon for three hours is going to be powerful. We're going to be playing segments from the, sh the, the show last night. At God Discussions. I recommend, if, if you can today, carve out about an hour and listen. Uh, I, uh, listen to at least the first hour of that show. Um, it's actually, I come on about 10, 12 minutes into the show and I'm on for an hour. Listen to it. Because I do give out five biblical signs to watch for that are uh, pointing toward the uh, the soon coming return of Jesus Christ. I also talk about uh, a prophet who has prophesied the world is going to end Sunday, May 27th. I'm very concerned about this guy. His name is not Ron Wyland. And I think there might be some breaking news of some things I said. Well, I know there is. They've already told me they're going to do an article. Look, just listen to it. Now, besides this, folks, there's a hurricane headed toward Mexico, there, uh, there's a lake that disappeared. I'm going to report on that in my next video. Are you saved? Are you listening to me? I'm telling you right now, we are living in biblical times. We're living in, the, and what about the Middle East? And what's going on? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Send me a personal message right now. Are you serious? Do it now. 
tithe and just send it to me and say, I want to be saved. 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 